let's check out one of the most popular hotels in Disney World. Disney's Port Orleans Resort French Quarter is a Mardi Gras themed hotel that is seriously popular for a number of reasons. Today we're going to do a very quick crash course in Port Orleans Resort to see if this hotel is right for you and what to expect when you do stay here. Port Orleans French Quarter is themed around the French Quarter in New Orleans with Mardi Gras details. It's Mardi Gras year round here, which is very fun. It is a smaller, more walkable, moderate resort with 1,008 rooms. Port Orleans French Quarter is located in the Disney Springs Resort area and it does have a sister resort, which is Port Orleans Riverside. We are focusing on French Quarter today, but keep an eye on the channel because a crash course in Riverside will be coming out as well. Now let's talk basics. So Port Orleans French Quarter is a moderate hotel in Disney World. That's the middle category. There are value, moderates, and deluxes. Moderate is going to be moderate amenities, moderate pricing. So a little more expensive than a value, a little less expensive than a deluxe. And you can kind of guess what you can expect out of those hotels uh, quality-wise based on the category they're in. Port Orleans French Quarter is very small. It does not have a ton of amenities, uh, but it's also priced relatively reasonably. And that makes it a very popular hotel for people, especially those that prefer a smaller hotel. When you stay at a moderate hotel, you are given those Disney perks. When you stay at a Walt Disney World hotel, there are certain Disney perks that you get. The deluxe hotels get a few extras, but in a moderate or value, you will get access to free Disney transportation pretty much anywhere, everywhere. We'll talk a little bit more about that in depth later. You'll also get early theme park entry so your park of the day 30 minutes early you can get in if a park opens at 8 you're getting in at 7 30 if it opens at 9 you can get in at 8 30 so that's a really big bonus for getting through some of those bigger rides while there aren't as many people in the parks staying in a disney hotel after january 9th 2024 you also have access to the disney dining plan which is pretty cool you also get free overnight parking and free parking at the theme parks as you can see now we are strolling past some of the guest rooms this hotel does have external hallways which just something to be aware of it's you know you might get caught in the rain walking from the lobby building or the bus stop but it is a really beautiful hotel perfect balance of feeling lively and also very serene and i think they've done such a great job sort of encapsulating that french quarter vibe when you stay at port orleans riverside you can select from standard rooms garden rooms river view rooms pool view rooms and king bedrooms the rooms all have a distinctive New Orleans flair and comfortable amenities. In general, a moderate resort in Disney World is going to mean that you have a mid-sized room that prioritizes both functionality and comfortability. So it's a, they're nice rooms. They're not the biggest, they're not the most luxurious, but they certainly will have everything you need to have a really nice day. If you are curious about the rooms at this hotel or anything else that I am saying in more detail, I have done a full tour of this resort, including an incredibly detailed review of the rooms, the pools, the restaurants, everything you can think of. And you can check that out on the channel right now. If you watch this video and you're like, well, maybe I will stay there. You can go check out that video to see even more about this hotel. That moderate pricing means that rooms started at about $278 per night in 2023. Now, you can see lower than that if there's a deal going on or anything like that, which you should always check for on the Disney website. You can also keep an eye on allears.net because we will always make sure that you are up to date about any hotel deals that are going on. The location for Port Orleans French Quarter is pretty convenient. It sits right here on the Sasagula River, which is a spot that Disney uses for boat transportation. Those boats do go from this hotel to Disney Springs. So you have a direct boat right on over to Disney Springs. It's also walking distance to Port Orleans Riverside. So even though this hotel is not the most various in amenities and offerings, Port Orleans Riverside, it's much bigger sister hotel, is within walking distance. You can just hop right on over there and enjoy live music or other restaurants. There's just tons to see between those two hotels in Disney Springs. Now let's talk about the kind of activities that you can expect to see during your stay at Port Orleans French Quarter that you'll have access to as a guest. This right next to me is the Balloon Lagoon Pool. This is a really amazing pool here at uh, Port Orleans French Quarter. It's super colorful. It's got a little bit of a party vibe to it. Kiddos will absolutely love playing in this huge kids splash area. There is a hot tub for access as well. Um, and the coolest part is probably the slide. Towards the back of the pool, you can see this huge sea serpent slide. It is such a fun slide design. You slide through the sea serpent's mouth and out down its tongue. It's got King Neptune riding it. So the pool is just a fun vibe overall. There's definitely more recreation we're gonna talk about here at French Quarter, but if at any point you're like, ah, that's not enough recreation, the boat to Disney Springs will get you to all the entertainment you can think of. Disney Springs, of course, is Disney's shopping and dining district, and there's tons of entertainment, live music every night, just all sorts of fun over at Disney Springs, and you're just a boat right away. 
at any Disney World resort, you can check out these recreation activities boards to learn what will be going on around your resort. All of the resorts have some kind of recreation that you can expect. Um, one thing you'll see at every hotel is a movie under the stars. These change every night, um, but there's tons of activities every day. So there's a dance party at Dublin Lagoon Pool every day at noon, poolside activities. There are a few paid activities like Mickey tie-dye or arts and crafts. And then you've got the Cajun campfire on the building six lawn that you can do. There's also a few signature activities at this moderate hotel, including a trivia bash at Mardi Gras the pool bar, um, a mosaics class, that's very cool, and Tiana's lawn bash for family friendly games under the stars. Not technically an activity, but I'm obsessed with these gator guys who are parading down away from the pool. Um, particularly the one playing a saxophone. I love him. But my favorite activity that you'll regularly find at French Quarter is inside. Inside the lobby building, you'll find this little sign that says bar and cafe. This leads you to Scat Cats. Scat Cats Cafe is where you'll find Mickey beignets, but in the evening, these doors open and show you Scat Cats Lounge. Scat Cats Club Lounge has live jazz music Friday through Sunday evening from the jazz fusion band. They are spectacular. Um, and the food here is really amazing as well. I've never had something that I didn't like at Scat Cats Lounge. It's reasonably priced. They have amazing drinks and it's just a really fun atmosphere. So this is absolutely a must do if you're gonna be staying at Port Orleans French Quarter which brings us to talking about food here. Sky Cats Lounge does have that amazing food. I've had oyster po' boys here. They have um, a spiked beignet situation, which is, I mean, come on. Uh, but also at Sky Cats Club, this is where you're gonna find um, always a pretty long line. <laughs> Sky Cats Club is this resort's main coffee spot, but that's not the main event here. This is the only place in Disney World, typically, that you can find Mickey-shaped beignets. So you can get three beignets, six beignets, they come with a dipping sauce of your choice. You can also get specialty beignets, and then tons of different coffees and things. A lot of people come out of their way to get Mickey beignets here. Um, they are an iconic Disney eat, and they're one that you can only find at Port Orleans French Quarter. You cannot even find them over at Port Orleans Riverside. I also will tell you that they're really hard to stop eating, and that when you get a three pack, if you're by yourself, you will eat all three and your stomach will hurt. And I've tried to stop it many times and I can't. Then, next door to Scat Cats Club Cafe, you can find Sasagula Floatworks and Food Factory. This is the food court for this hotel, and this food court and the one next door at Port Orleans Riverside are my favorite food courts in all of Disney World. These are the ones that I voluntarily stop at regularly, and I might do it right now. See, there's really fun Mardi Gras theming if you look up near the ceiling, beads and Mardi Gras masks and everything. Um, and then when you get into order, there are different food stations. One thing to note about these food courts is that you definitely want to check out the menus in person. There are often mobile order options for Disney World food courts, but we have noticed that the menus are not always the same on mobile order as they are in person. But this is a really fun food court because you can get a lot of your basics like pizza or chicken and vegetables with pasta or salmon, macaroni and cheese, that kind of thing. But you can also get more exciting things like Mardi Gras king cake or jambalaya. And I really love the jambalaya and gumbo here. I think if you're staying at Port Orleans French Quarter, you've got to get that. There's also a small grab and go section. So if you need any drinks or a small sack, um, even any alcohol, you can pick that up here. I can't be blamed for this. I'm supposed to resist getting jambalaya. No. It's very good. We're going past our gator friends again because we've also got one more food location to talk about for this section. And that is Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras is the pool bar. It offers a very small food menu as well, but this is gonna be an easy stop to grab any drinks during your pool day or if you're just hanging out in the room. And that's food. Still with me? Got one more section on our crash course. And then we can decide if you should get booking or keep looking. When you're staying at a Disney hotel, odds are it's because you're headed to the Disney parks. And so transportation is gonna be a pretty big part of that. We've talked a little bit about that boat, that boat transportation that can get you to Port Orleans Riverside as well as Disney Springs. That's awesome, but that's the only place that boat will take you. And otherwise, you're getting stuck with the bus. Just a quick side note though, this boat is my favorite boat ride in Disney World. It is so peaceful and you're like actually on a river in the wilderness it feels like. You'll find that bus station out to the front of the hotel and there will be buses that will take you everywhere, Disney Springs included, if you don't want to take that boat. These buses tend to come every 15 to 20 minutes and most bus rides around Disney property will take 10 to 20 minutes depending. 
parks wise from French Quarter, you're located closest to Epcot, but you're gonna have pretty short bus rides between 10 and 15 minutes to Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, and Epcot. Your longer bus ride will be to Animal Kingdom, which will be 15 to 20 minutes. In general, if you're going anywhere in Disney World, give yourself an hour just in case to make sure that there's no hiccups along the way. You never know when you might hit the bus at exactly the wrong time and have to wait and then get stuck in traffic. Give yourself an hour to get anywhere from point A to point B. Now let's talk about if you should get booking or keep looking. Get booking if you want a smaller hotel with lower crowds. This hotel is going to give you that in the moderate category. It's, uh, as you can see, pretty serene here. You can also get booking if you love Mardi Gras. The vibe here is awesome. You might want to keep looking if you're hoping for more amenities at your hotel and you don't want to get stuck with mostly bus transportation, which I get. If you do decide that this hotel is not right for you, you can check out my video where I ranked every single Disney World Resort hotel. I have stayed and reviewed every single one. So I went through a ranking of them, talked about when it might be right for you, might not be. So you can check out that video on the channel now or any of my hotel tours. Best of luck as you learn about the Disney hotels. If you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. And now go watch my full tour of Port Orleans French Quarter. I'll see you there.